Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so we had derived uh, the the equation that uh, looked like this. We had derived uh, using the various concepts of pipeline flow, uh, the force balance and all. And we reached to this equation, uh, which is nothing but uh, u as a function of x, which I've written over here in my very pretty handwriting. Uh, uh, thinking about good handwriting, I'm accompanied by <laughs> Mr. Jayesh Char. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I was just uh, waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jayesh, thanks, thanks for being here. Uh, so basically, people must be thinking uh, why Jayesh does not write on the the black like the whiteboard. Uh, so it's my my uh, it's like uh, my noble act that I am letting Jayesh <laughs> away from the whiteboard because <laughs> if 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 you guys see Jayesh's handwriting, you will we as Petroleum from scratch might lose 10, 20 followers. <laughs> so yeah, I yeah, think some subscribe. someone of them may have seen in these statistics video. <laughs> Oh, God bless them. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So let's not waste their time. Uh, Jesh, uh, uh, we are in a very uh, conclusive phase of this uh, of this particular uh, Derivation. derivations. Uh, I think in this video, we will almost be there. Uh, and then we will, in the later videos, we'll just make uh, use of that final equation to make further advancements. All right. So our aim here is to make use of this UX to find out QX. Right. So no, right. for that element that we had drawn this X element, this element at distance X from the center. And this was the entire pipe, right? This was the entire pipe. And we are just talking about this element at distance X. First, we will be deriving the flow rate at this particular, uh, you know, the shallow uh, hollow cylinder, how much flow is there. And then we will integrate that flow to find out the total apparent flow for this entire pipeline. Remember, this is just one single pipeline that is kind of uh, in reservoir engineering. If the pipeline diameter is assumed to be very small, we call it a capillary, right? So let's derive the flow rate uh, for this. Let me go to the next slide. All right. So what I'm saying here is uh, everyone knows that Q X will be nothing but area multiplied by U of X right? Area of X must be there as well, right? So this is the first step. So basically what I'm trying to say here is Q of X is nothing but what will be the cross-sectional uh, area of that uh, cylindrical section? This is the cross-sectional area, right? This is the cross-sectional area. This is the hollow cylinder. It's all hollow inside. So the, the fluid film is just this external shell, right? So the area is nothing but 2 pi x multiplied by dx. dx. Perimeter multiplied by the thickness, right? So 2 pi x multiplied by the dx, right? And u, all right? So that's one thing. Okay, next up. Uh, u at x. U, yeah, so we, we replace u at x with the thing that we already know. Q of x is nothing but 2 pi x dx multiplied by u of x, which is nothing but delta p upon, please go and refer to the last uh, 10 seconds of this video and you will get to know, 4 eta l r, r squared square minus, minus x squared. Square. So the one right. thing I just want to add, the idea for taking the 2 pi x dx is, initially, if you remember in the last video, we have taken this uh, element at uh, distance x. So we are yep. kind of assuming that our uh, flow rate or fluid is flowing through this ring type of structure only periphery of on the periphery of ring yep. uh, yeah the, the one that has been shaded so the area of yep. that thing is going to be 2 pi x dx absolutely 2 pi x Very is the much. circumference of that and dx will be uh, if you can show the that thickness of the periphery of ring dx yes. this is the dx yeah yep. so if you look at it from if your eye is here what you are looking at is this thing, uh, this, yeah. this thing. So this is dx. This is dx. And it is located because it's very, very dx is very, very small. Uh, it's almost like x is equals to x plus dx. So that's how, that's what dx is for. It's a very small differential term. And uh, yeah, that's about uh, what Jayesh is talking about here. 
All right. So we have the derivation. Uh, we have the expression for uh, flow rate of this particular film. It is telling you what amount of fluid is flowing at an element located at x distance from the center, having a thickness of dx. Dx is assumed to be in infinitesimally small thickness. All right. Okay. So next up, we try to you know el elaborate this equation further. So it becomes like this. Uh, 2 pi delta p by we pick out all the constants outside for eta l and we take in the uh, you know the radius based and the distance based terms inside r squared x dx r squared is here x dx is here we multiply them together and minus x cubed dx so this is another equation all right so now we will, uh, what we will do here is we will basically uh, integrate this small element over zero to R because that's our pipeline diameter, right? That's, so this is zero and this is R. So this is the integration limit, right? So this is what we will do in the, in the next slide. Okay, so that integration, integrated flow rate, we will call it as QT, <laughs> QT, right? So we, we take two pi delta P upon four eta L and we term by term integrate them because it's a subtraction. So we take term by term integrated zero to R, R squared X DX minus mm -hmm integration of x cubed dx, dx. 0 to r x square multiplied by x come your x cube right and finally uh, i'm leaving this for the uh, audience as uh, i mean this is the area yeah, we that, assume uh, you know basic integration <laughs> absolutely so that's why we are just coming on the final point <laughs> yep so this is something for you to you to evaluate uh, this is not what we are here for and finally uh, once we integrate and we finally find out the equation now looks something like this qt is equals to pi r to the power 4 delta p upon 8 eta l l this is a very a very, very familiar equation, equation. yep this is an equation that has won so many hearts. So this is Q. This is delta P. In fact, even better, this is delta P by L. And this something is a very well-known term. Uh, so we are getting there. We told you that this equation will kind of look familiar and similar to Darcy's law. We are getting there. Mm -hmm. And this QT is basically because it's integrated over the entire area. Uh, people who have already studied reservoir engineering, uh, in there is a concept because every capillary has its own behavior, and if you integrate it together and calculate the flow rate of an entire entire cross section, it is not the actual flow rate, but it is more like the uh, you know the apparent flow rate. Hmm. <coughs> yeah. So yeah, you can also see that we are kind of nearby the Darcy equation delta p. L, you can see viscosity, you can mm. see flow rate is there. Now only some magic is left. And after that. Similar, right? Let me make it sound catchy. <laughs> similar. Oh, I messed up. Never mind. Looks similar. Not similarly. All right. So this, uh, uh, I have given you enough hints. And remember, guys, this eta is viscosity. People use mu for this viscosity and not something else. And if we if we analyze it, which Jayesh is just mentioning here, if we go go to the next uh, slide, we write this in larger for fonts. Qt is equals to uh, pi r four. Which uh, let me let me use a better version of this. Okay, let me use a better version of this. Uh, all right. Okay, where is my pen? Yeah, I don't need the eraser. 
One second, let me connect my charger. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Just had a bad time <laughs> trying to find the pen. So, yeah, pi. Wow, what what did I find here? <laughs> pi r pi r squared multiplied by r squared. This is pi r four divided by eight mu l delta p by delta l. This is how you can write it, right? And this pi r square can be a. So qt now becomes this term. So I'll not write the whole thing. This term multiply by a into delta p by l. Okay. It's eta, but I've written it as mu again because now we are fine. So let's take mu out now. Let's mm -hmm. take mu here, a by mu. And this is our pipeline flow. And if you compare it with Darcy's law, which I will use Brown for Darcy's, Q is equals to K A by mu, by mu delta, delta P by delta L. Right, or L, simply L. So, Again, L is extra here. So basically, R square is like this. So basically, this K is approximated as R squared. I should write approximated by eight. And remember, guys. Yep, the assumptions are very important here. What is this equation for? This is for. This is for what? This is for a cylinder. How many cylinders? One cylinder. And if the radius is very small, it's called a capillary. And that's what would make it a real subsurface approximations if the radius is assumed to be very small. If your radius is in micros and stuff like that, uh, microns and stuff like that, and uh, it's in the pore scale radius kind of thing, and you use this formula, then you can say that I have made a good approximation of my reservoir permeability. So this application of this equation is basically if you figure out, if you if you imagine that you can sample a single, uh, you know, pore channel from 10,000 feet down and you bring it to the surface and calculate its radius, can you approximate it, its permeability using that radius on a high level? Yes, using this equation you can. Because we have assumed that this is how uh, you know, uh, uh, pipeline flow is connected to subsurface. So brilliant enough, uh, without having any prior knowledge about reservoir engineering, we could still match something with Darcy's law, which is a great achievement. Jesh, any any ending thoughts? So yeah, that? this is kind of, uh, we can say that we have kind of uh, find a relationship between fluid mechanics and reservoir engineering. Basic fluid Absolutely. mechanics that a mechanical guy or a civil guy or anybody, anybody who studies physics, reads basic fluid mechanics that we have connected with our reservoir engineering. So Absolutely. again, going that, back was to the basic, that was the aim. That was the aim. Yeah. Yep. Petroleum from scratch. <laughs> the petroleum name from scratch. Is, yeah. Petroleum is nothing but physics. Yep. Absolutely. And we are two strict believers of that thing. Uh, no matter how, how badly we have failed in our end semesters and mid semesters. But any question or any numerical that could be solved with uh, high school physics or something, we both used to do well yes. on those questions. Although the, the proportion of those questions were so low, that's why uh, our CGPA. <laughs> so no more talking about that. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Thanks but a lot, yeah, guys. We guarantee you guys that uh, your CGPA is... You will get, yeah, you will. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so thanks, Jesh. Uh, thanks for accompanying me. Uh, great session. Uh, definitely now we will take this equation and this approximation further as we we calculate uh, it for multiple capillaries and we bring in the Reynolds number, yeah, Reynolds number and stuff like that as we gradually progress towards deeper topics. Thanks a lot. See you guys in the next session. Thank you. Bye -bye.